Huge news from NASA. It looks as if there is an Earth-like planet, Earth's cousin per se, uh, 1,400 light years away in the Cygnus constellation, uh, specifically in the Kepler-452 uh, system. Kepler-452b is the most uh, Earth-like planet they have found or have been uh, projected to f uh, find through simulations or through models. Uh, it is in the, it's a prime candidate because it's in the habitable zone where liquid water would be able to pool and be uh, conducive to life. And it's somewhat similar to Earth. There is a, an artist depiction. So Kepler 452b uh, is 60% wider than Earth and probably about five times more massive. So the surface gravity would be considerably stronger, uh, roughly twice as much. So if humans from Earth were somehow able to get there, we would have to wear uh, specialized suits. And then over time, uh, if people were able to colonize the planet, it would be it would result in more stockier builds. And if there were organisms on that planet, they would be much more dense and stocky and strong with stronger bones than we have in our lower gravity. Uh, so if we were in a lower gravity system, we would have spindly long limbs and being able to make tools with lighter, less dense materials. It's, it's a very different uh, status depending on that specifically. Um, so there are some familiar parts to it. Uh, it orbits a solar type star at about the same distance that Earth orbits the sun. Uh, it probably, and this comes from uh, John Jenkins of NASA's Ames Research Center in Moffett Field, California, has a thick atmosphere of liquid water and active volcanoes. They also posit that there, it could be experiencing a runaway greenhouse effect similar to one that changed Venus from a habitable planet to a sweltering hothouse of you can't live there. Uh, so it, it looks like that would be about 500 years away for Kepler 452b. Uh, what's interest? It is interesting to think about what kind of life could uh, be living there now. But it's also an interesting model for us to look at as to what would be happening in our own planet because their sun is uh, much, not much older, a billion and a half years older than our sun. So it would be we would be looking at perhaps what could happen to our planet over time, uh, perhaps accelerated due to our influence. And that's a very interesting model to think about. And it does mean a lot, uh, at least in terms of theoret theoretical Earth future. Or, you know, if we could ever get there, but we do not have that technology to travel to deep space just as yet. University of Barcelona cosmologist Fergus Simpson wrote a paper entitled The Nature of Inhabited Planets and Their Inhabitants, in which he posited what different uh, creatures what might be like on different planets and different systems, uh, far different from our own. Uh, it does depend a lot more than just gravity. So we also have population density. We have uh, what uh, in increased body mass is linked to uh, population density in, in decline. And the conclusion that he built was that uh, most intelligent species would ex be expected to exceed 300 kilograms, meaning he would say it's likely alien life is very big. Uh, but there's a lot of factors to consider in this, and it's very interesting to think about. So what do you think is the most interesting thing we can learn about from Kepler-452b uh, in terms of our own planet or in terms of what could be out there? Please let me know below in the comments and subscribe for more.